And now, your first alert five weather. That's a live look from our rock room and studios on the north end of the city. We're getting a couple of sprinkles outside here. Current temperature in the springs is 67 degrees. Humidity definitely on the high side. That's a product of that southeasterly upslope breeze at 16 miles per hour. Live from the Steel City, rolling those sevens. 77 is the current temperature. Humidity on the high side. A little breezy out of the east, especially out at the airport. Splash and dash from Monument Hill into Colorado Springs this afternoon. That rain is cooled you nicely. 60 is the current temperature there. Here's that flash flood warning I mentioned in the T. Is this for far northern El Paso County, including Peyton and Eastonville. You could see some high water out along 24. Also, some of those low-lying areas could be kind of hazardous. Always remember, turn around. Don't drown some of the streams and creeks in this area within this green box. Could start to run high an inch to two inches of rain here in the past hour. That stuff not moving a whole lot. These thunderstorms uh, lacking a whole lot of wind aloft. The steering winds are very light. That's why the storm's moving very slowly. You can see that thing basically set up across the Peyton area here for the past hour now, moving very slowly to the south at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. In the springs, we're quiet. A little uh, rain just to the northeast of the airport, getting a little bit of rain across the northern end of the city. Black Forest, it picks up in intensity. Also around the North Gate, Flying Horse area. Round number two of rain in Woodland Park this afternoon. I'd call that a bonus. Tracking thunderstorms southwest of Canyon City and open country. Trying to see something develop across the far south end to Pueblo right now. We'll watch that closely, give you an update during our 630 broadcast. Also tracking some thunderstorms across far southern Colorado. Good rains in Trinidad this afternoon. Also some good rain with thunderstorms across Baca County, including the Springfield area. Here's what happens for the rest of the night tonight. This model has thunderstorms in northern El Paso County, northern Colorado Springs at 7. That stuff fades off by 8 o'clock tonight. Still tracking some stuff across some of the wet mountains, wet mountain valley into the Sangre de Cristos later this evening. That stuff will gradually push off to the southeast. By 10 o'clock, I think it'll be fairly quiet across most parts of the News 5 viewing area. Keep in mind, a flood watch still active until 10 tonight for far southeastern Colorado. Could see some high water later across that area. Bit of a pattern change setting up here for the next several days. High pressure going to build in, and that is our big weather story. So tomorrow, it's going to be noticeably hotter. We're looking at highs 5 to 10 degrees hotter than what we had today. Not a whole lot of water in the atmosphere tomorrow, but just enough to see a few isolated thunderstorms, mainly along and west of I-25. Here's what happens tomorrow morning. 8 a.m. Nice and cool with cloudy skies. We'll get some midday sunshine. That'll help destabilize the environment. A couple of thunderstorms possible. Again, we could see something brew up across parts of El Paso County into sections of Teller County as well. More thunderstorms across some of the wets into the Sangre de Cristos. Everything starts to slow down after sunset tomorrow evening. Pueblo only 81 today. Yes, that's a bonus for July. And in Colorado Springs, the official high temperature 78. Average this time of the year is 86 degrees. We've got some updated numbers numbers for you nice and cool in Woodland Park with 57 degrees low temperatures tonight really nice up and down the I-25 corridor great sleeping weather afternoon high temperatures tomorrow hotter than what we've had the past few days and that hot uh, weather is going to continue all the way at to at least the middle part of next week here's your super seven day forecast in Colorado Springs a isolated thunderstorm possible tomorrow afternoon same deal on Sunday nothing that's going to wipe out any plans it's hot and dry Monday into Tuesday and then the monsoon could be a bit more active when Wednesday, Thursday into Friday. Pueblo, I know it's felt like fall the past couple of days, but now a pocket of hotter air rolling in. You'll have to fire up that swamp cooler again. Steady diet of 90s for the next seven days. Subtropical moisture moves east starting Wednesday for a better opportunity of getting some isolated afternoon thunderstorms. Canyon City, a couple of storms possible over the weekend. You get the green light if you've got outdoor activities. The new month begins on Monday and you'll give August a warm welcome. Hot is probably a better word to use. Woodland Park, a pretty typical last week into July. And Monday, don't forget, it's Colorado Day. You get free admission to all state parks in our state. Mueller State Park just off to the south of Woodland Park. That's a good option right there, and the weather's going to be perfect.